Hello, Mario Vlogs number three, 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 Paddy's Day. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. As a proud New Zealander of Irish ancestry, I feel I'm in a very key position to tell a little Irish joke on the day after St. Patrick's Day. A great day where all the Irish celebrate their Irish ancestry. But I'm a, I'm a bit of a day late and I've been saving up this little joke, this little Irish joke, for quite some time. Now I was a bit stuck for a vlog subject today and so as is my way, I opened up my Photoshop thumbnail and started filling in the number and I saw that it was 333 which lent itself quite nicely to this little little joke. Now typically Irish jokes are very stereotypical of the Irish uh, perhaps not being rocket scientists being the fall guy for the joke but this one is very clever and it's about mathematics, which I very much enjoy. So I have no hesitation in telling this little joke, as I think it shows the, the Irish in a very good light. I once heard a joke which said, why are Irish jokes so short? And the answer was, so everyone else can understand them. <laughs> so they're simple enough for everyone else to understand, which uh, is. So let's get on with the story. So it's about Paddy, the stereotypical Irishman, named after, of course, St. Patrick, who drove all the, uh, all the snakes out of Ireland and all sorts of wonderful things over there. So Paddy wants a job, but... You know, as is the thing with the foreman, he want to hire him until he won't hire him until he passes a little maths test. Here's your first question, the foreman says. Without using numbers, represent the number nine. Hmm, without numbers, Paddy says. That's easy. And proceeds to draw three trees. What's this? the boss asks. Have you no brain? Tree plus tree plus tree makes nine, says Paddy. Fair enough, says the boss. Here's your second question. Use the same rules, but this time the number is 99. Paddy stares into space for a while, then picks up the picture he has just drawn and makes a smudge on each tree. There you go. The boss scratches his and said and head scratches his head <laughs> and says, How on earth do you get that to represent ninety nine? Well, each of them trees is dirty now, so it's dirty tree and dirty tree plus dirty tree that makes ninety nine. Hmm, the boss is getting worried <laughs> that he's going to actually have to hire Patty. So he says, All right. Last question. Same rules again, but represent the number 100. Paddy stares into space some more. Then he picks up the picture again and he makes a little mark at the base of each tree and says, there you go, 100. Hmm. The boss looks at the attempt. You must be nuts if you think that represents 100. Paddy leans forward and points to the marks at the base of each tree and whispers, a little dog came along and pooped it by each tree. So now you've got dirty tree and a turd, dirty tree and a turd, dirty tree and a turd, which that makes a hundred. <laughs> which makes a hundred. 
Paddy is now the new supervisor. <laughs> I love that little joke. Dirty tree in a dirt. <laughs> Paddy is now the new supervisor. <laughs> Very clever Paddy, that one. And so, there we go. Nice little Irish joke. So, let's uh, continue on with the theme here. And, oh, go to this background here. Now, I'm sure you know who this guy is. But, what's his connection to today's theme and what have you? What's his connection? Aha, uh -huh. yes. Who is he? And what's his connection? Now, yesterday's one, yesterday's challenge was to who is this guy, who of course is Nelson Mandela. And here he is on a visit to Narawahia at Turangawawai Marae, where the gata, regatta that I vlogged about yesterday was on it. And um, just as I was preparing for the vlog, I saw some video of the mighty war canoes on the river yesterday. I was hoping to get some footage of those, but um, I wasn't there at the time, unfortunately. I got a bit tied up today and um, wasn't able to get down there and see if I could catch them. So uh, if you can, uh, there's a, there was a might, it's a mighty sight as they chant and turn the boats around for a drive-by of the... Um, Marai site and all the dignitaries there was very good. Now Moz got the answer to this one, Nelson Mandela, on a visit to Narawahia. So let's uh, go back to the background. Um, oh, to this guy here. I'm going to go back to here and soak up some more of my Irish heritage. And uh, yeah, lots of paddies there. And uh, wonderful people has been my experience of the the ones that I've met here in New Zealand and uh, this, the uh, Kiwis of Irish ancestry that I've uh, also um, caught up with, particularly the ones with the last name O'Neill. <laughs> One couple of notable ones that I've met along the way that are not directly related, but we've always had a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, so let's, um, that's it from me. Uh, thanks to everyone for liking and subscribing and commenting and thinking about my competitions and and for all the stuff you do. I enjoy every moment of it and I love the interaction. So, all good. Cheers. See you.